to my channel this is Ashina here if you're new to my channel thank you for clicking this video and if you're not new to my channel you always come back I love you so much today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial and we're going to be doing some lash lash unboxing I ordered from I ordered from lash kitty if you guys know I already have a video on their lashes a youtuber that I watch faithfully came out with a lash collection and I bought the first one so I did buy the second one because I am in love so stay tuned for that of course I'm gonna be wearing some one pair of lashes today um if you did miss the last video of the lashes I will definitely leave that in the description box have it pop up in the cards but don't click out of this video before you watch the first one you will always watch this one first then go to the next one if you know what I mean so anyway <laughs> so today I'm gonna be creating this little spotlight I look I did this one eye off camera because I didn't know what makeup was gonna do today and so this is what I came up came up with and I'm in love and stuff is just falling today like I can't take it so I'm gonna do one eye on camera with you guys and then we're gonna do the face then we're gonna get into some lashes I've been loving the makeup revolution concealer to prime my eyes yes I do use the LA girl pro yeah I know I, I use that all the time but this one kind of sets itself because the other girl pro i noticed if i don't set it then it creases on me like crazy and then my eyeshadow starts to transfer and it's like not cute the makeup shayla palette and i love the thick shade in here as my transition shade so we're going to take just a regular elf brush and we're going to just go into this thick shade right here and just pop that in our transition <laughs> the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna use the black shade in here right in the corner here the black shade um like I say every video not every video but do, when doing a smoky eye especially if you're using a black shade please unless you're a professional and you popping like that then you could do you know you know but I advise you to take a little on the brush at a time do not go off like if you was using a brown or a red or whatever but really I advise you to really only take a little bit on your brush and you know start because we're creating a halo eye today so I'm going to just pack that on to my outer corner I'm going to pack it on but I'm going to slant like move it towards the middle if, I, if I'm saying that correctly so I'm going to just go up on the the black and I'm gonna just move it on bottom to my bottom lash line a little too and because we're creating a spotlight look even if you mess up a little bit it's not gonna be bad because you're gonna use the concealer to go back in and cut the crease so I just basically go on the outer V and then I bring it in a little bit I think I did this one too a little bit too much but we could fix that it's like the bottom is meeting but the tops aren't if you know what I mean and I'm going to go over it a little bit over my crease because I want that to be, I want my crease to be defined. So we're going to do it just like that. Boom. Yes, it looks crazy right now, but we're about to fix it. So I'm going to go in with my MAC 212 brush and we're going to cut the crease. have it come down as like this because you want it to be not to um I don't know this is how I do with my halo eyes I've seen it done like this before and I kind of like it <laughs> a lot of like it but you want both of your eyes to be leveled so just look in the mirror and if you see anything higher than the other you can always change it or whatever the case may be but being that I have one eye already done this eye has to look like this eye so I'm gonna go in with this. It's my Ray Ray brush, and this is the number. I think it's number six or nine. One of them. And I'm gonna just take a little black on my brush. And I'm gonna just go over like I do. If you really want to intensify your crease, I just go over the crease. 
crease area with the black so it can look very dimensional and you know popping or whatever if you want to like that i'm gonna go into the fenty beauties metallic kilowatt freestyle highlighting palette and i'm gonna go in with the middle shade which is called cold stone i already have a review on this my birthday makeup was with this palette so i'm gonna link that in the description box i have a pop in the cards <laughs> Wet and Wild Matte. Um, what you call that? Primer. Okay, now I'm gonna blur my pores, pores out with the prep and prep and blur stick, like I always do on every other video. I'm gonna be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Super Stay in the shade 30, 365 Warm Coconut, and then I'm gonna be mixing my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade sienna so i'm gonna put it on my little pan here i'm gonna just do one pump of each because i'm not trying to be looking crazy Ooh, excuse me do one pump of each we'll see how this from these two they look like the same color we're gonna see how these two work Are the lashes ooh sexy mama okay it's so cute got a name on this stuff okay anyway I'm in between sitting pretty and Raina oh nobody saw that but I'm in between sitting pretty and raining, so I think I'm gonna do sitting pretty. Let's get this stuff off my desk. <laughs> okay, they're different from what I'm used to, but they are like super pretty. Well, duh, because it says sitting pretty. These are like, these are like stepping out of my comfort zone. Like these are pretty as hell. These are cute. I'm definitely gonna be using them more in this collection. These are for these are faux mink lashes. These retail for $28 on the Lash Kitty website. I will have everything in the description box. Her YouTube, her Instagram, her link to her old lashes, the link to her new lashes, and the website, of course, and the link to my previous video of reviewing her lash collection now we about to throw a wig on i don't know which one i'm putting on and so we're going to see some slow mos. Uh -huh. 